Hi, it's always great to catch up with you again on the range today and look at your swings. Progressing nicely, let's take a little look at what we've got to work on to further improvements. If we look at Hunter Mayhem during the backswing, the club and the arms work in. So the idea is that we're swinging in a circle with both the hands and the arms. And we can see as he starts to take away that both the arms and the hands work in. So that halfway back, his arms are in across his chest, also working in concentric circles from the ball in. Take a little look at your swing during the start of your session. What we're going to see is here's the line that we would like to swing upon. Unfortunately, what we're going to get is we're going to get very early in the piece. The club is going to start rolling behind us about here. But unfortunately, it's gone too straight on the way back. Arms have worked away from the body and you can see there that the arms haven't worked in, they've worked out. From there that's going to arrive in a very upright top of the backswing position as opposed to a more rounded position like we see here at the top. So what we've done here now is put the ball back in the circle, we've blocked the outside, we've put this down to illustrate the path that we want the club to trace, we want the hands to trace. And we want the arms to trace and then see what we can do it. So we've got the ball way back in the circle at this point to encourage the arms to work in more. So you can see there that the arms are definitely working in more than what we see here at the start of your session. Good improvements at that point. As a result, the top of the backswing position is much more rounded, much deeper. Again, much more like you see with Hunter May and shaft position he's looking at. But we can do that in subsequent lessons. And then this is the big change. When we look at you here now, club and arms come way out in front of us, hence the big slices to the right. What we see with Hunter Mayan are the arms staying in across the chest as he starts down, so arms in on the way back, but also more importantly, arms in on the way down. With the ball being way back in the circle, that's going to encourage you to keep your arms in more on the way down. You can see there, you do a wonderful job of it. Very, very similar to what we've seen with Hunter May. And remember when you're working on this, it's a tool, it's a drill. We expect to hit the ball to the right when using this drill. But you can see you're attacking the ball from the inside rather than from the outside. So a massive change in the position of your club head just by working on that drill. So it's a lovely way of you feeling the arms staying in. Take a little look at your swing towards the end of your session with the ball in a more neutral setup position. We're now getting a feel of the arms working in. More rounded at the top. Arms don't stay as far in as they needed to, but a far, far better position coming into it than what we see here at the start of your session. So key thought, George, your arms in, but the arms have got to be in on the way back and they've got to stay in on the way down. That's going to result in a much better approach into the back of the ball from the inside, allowing us to hit it further and straighter once we get used to the field. Good luck with it. Great work. I look forward to speaking with you again in a week or so's time. Well done.